everyone Amy Love here and I am here to share with you a Christmas banner that I worked on every spare minute I had for crafting during the Christmas season and so I'm not even I didn't even finish it till after Christmas because you know <laughs> that's how busy I was but I was so excited about this I used um, these little ginger people came from um, Chevy Chevy Art Boutique is it Shabby Art Boutique? I really should know because I subscribe to her printables. I use them all the time. I love her. Um, I'm in her group on Facebook. I will put a link though to her Etsy and to her Facebook group below. I love her stuff. And so when I saw these gingers, I knew that I was going to print them out on fabric and make a banner because they were so stinking adorable. And that is exactly what I did. I used this... Um, like a, it was a quilted pillow sham. Look at how cute it was. I mean, it is. It's still cute. So it was like a quilted pillow sham that I got from my friend Kim. Thank you, Kim. And I think she got it from Nola, who is Nanny's Attic on Facebook in her Facebook group. I think that's where she got it, but she shared some with me and I was so thankful. And it was the perfect backdrop uh, for the shabby little, um, little ginger banner. <laughs> It's, it's so cute. So on this one, I trimmed the top with this cute little um, crocheted lace right here. I used this beautiful, you know it's one of my favorites. If you've been watching for any length of time, I put this on a lot of projects. And Kim does carry it in the shop now. Woo woo! Very excited. So it has two layers and then it has this pretty um, trim across the top of it. And then I just added buttons on there and then I added two little buttons here and I think you can get mixed packs of buttons over at Angel Dream Crafts. I probably really should have checked on that before I opened my big mouth but like you'll find a link to her store below and you can go over and check it out. And then I added um, little doilies and these cute little heart buttons. I, I love it. It's way too big for me to get all in one. I don't even know how I'm going to take pictures of this thing but this is also a printable from that same kit. I loved her Christmas kits. Shabby Art Boutique. I can't believe right now that I can't remember, but of course I can't. And I put felt behind these to um, quilt them up before I sewed them down to this pillow sham. And then behind this one I added a doily and you can get doilies over at Angel Dream Crafts also. And this gorgeous little pink rolled rose it's the perfect size and it's such a vibrant color. I got, you can get those at Angel Dream Crafts too. And then I just added this scalloped lace and some bows to this one. And then here's the um, girl ginger. Isn't she so cute? She's so cute. So that is, I would say the boy. And then this one is the girl. She is adorable. So I add one of Kim's rolled roses here added a couple of doilies and some pink bows and some more of that trim with the buttons but I made it I made it pretty big it's pretty big but I love it and I didn't get to use it this Christmas but you better believe <laughs> I'm ready for next Christmas isn't it cute it's so super cute I love it so I will put a link to uh, both where I got the amazing printables and where I got the beautiful goodies I used to help make this banner. I'll also make sure to include a link to Nanny's Attic where the, the pink, um, the quilted pink sham came from. And I hope you all um, had a Merry Christmas and were able to get some crafting done. Um, I have just been working so much that it's getting hard to find crafty time, which is sad to say, but I'm thankful to have a job. So, you know, <laughs> but luckily I got snowed in today and so I could get some stuff done and, you know, I'm excited when we get snowed in. The novelty of the snow is not uh, lost on me yet. This is my fourth winter here in Maine and I still think it's the most beautiful thing and so amazing. We're getting ready to go snowshoeing right now. I'm excited so I'll take some pictures and I'll post them on my Facebook page and you know I'm enjoying the snow <laughs> so far still <laughs> but I was thankful to have some time to craft today and um, what I have found is that I can upload a video out here in the middle of nowhere Maine much easier if I don't do the fancy editing things 
So I'm probably not going to do the fancy editing things anymore. I'm just going to do a video like this and you can see what I'm doing. I will post picture on my social pictures on my social media sites and I probably will go live from time to time in my Facebook group as I'm creating the things. But it just takes too long to upload um, when I add music and pictures and speed throughs and all that. It's just is too much time and I just I ain't got time for that right now <laughs> so if you I'll put all the links to my other social media sites below if you're interested um, you can go over and check those out and I will see you all in the next one thanks for watching everybody